Hi guys, Steve Blanker here. Hey, I wanted to do a, another quick video on how to polarize a two brush Ford six volt generator. Uh, last year I did a similar video on three brush generators and how to polarize it. And uh, I kind of realized that uh, I had to show how to do a two brush also. So it's pretty simple. It's going to take three jumper wires to do this. Um, so the first one um, is just to be a short, a short piece here. Uh, and you can just do this with a piece of wire. I just happen to have a short alligator clip one. So I'm going to clip this to, this is the field terminal. You got two in there clearly marked. This is field, this one is ground. So I'm going to connect this one to the field terminal up here. And then the other end is going to go to the output terminal on the back of the generator. Now there are slight variations on the generator configurations over the years, but it's functionally they're the same. All right, so I've just put this jumper. I'm jumping the field to the output. Uh, the second one I'm going to connect up is uh, the ground. <clears throat> so this is going to connect to the ground terminal. You could also connect it down to the to the mount down here where you should have clean metal where it bolts up to the front of the engine. I'm going to connect it right up here to the ground terminal. And because this is a 6-volt positive ground generator, it's going to go to the positive terminal on the battery over here. Okay. So now I've got the ground terminal connected to the ground of the battery. And then the last one is going to go to the negative terminal on the battery. Here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch it to the output terminal. Or I can touch it up here. It's all electrically the same. And the, and the generator is going to spin in a, in a clockwise rotation looking at the pulley end. And that, that, by doing that, that is running current through the field coils, and that is going to magnetize the pole shoes in the generator. You only want to do this for a second or two. It doesn't, only takes a second to polarize the generator. But this is also does what's known as a motoring test, where it causes the armature to rotate, and that just kind of is a, is a quick check to show you that the generator is electrically sound. Uh, but in doing that, it, it magnetizes the soft iron pole shoes. So when you take... The, the jumper off of it, magnetism remains. There's residual magnetism that remains in the pole shoes, and that's what allows the generator to start charging as soon as you start your car up. So polarizing is something that needs to be done when a generator is disassembled, uh, completely taken apart, or maybe if it's been off the vehicle for a long, long time. But it doesn't need to be done every time you just, if you take the generator off, put it back on again, or uh, you know, some, some, uh, something like that. Uh, normally, that residual magnetism will stay in the pole shoes for a long time. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and touch this to the output terminal here, and you're going to see it motor, uh, rotate. I'm just going to do this for a second or two here. Here we go. There we go. It's spinning. So now we've just done two things. We've done the motoring test to show that the generator operates, and two, we polarized it by setting that residual magnetism into the pole shoes. Now, this is a freshly rebuilt generator I just rebuilt, so I know it works well. It's already been polarized, but this just shows how to do it, and uh, now it's ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Take care. Bye.